Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use solid state drive to boost your computer performance. So we have this Samsung solid state drive 840 EVO. First of all, I will unpack this solid state drive. Today we will be using this 120GB solid state drive. This 120GB solid state drive has a sequential reading speed of 540MB per second and a sequential writing speed of 410MB per second. A computer consists of L1 cache, L2 cache, L3 cache, a RAM, hard disk drive. I have plugged in my solid state drive into the port of my computer. And now we are ready to do some configuration in the computer to begin with the accelerations of the computer performance. My computer has an 8GB RAM and a 2TB hard disk. The RAM has the fastest reading and writing speed of about 25,000MB per second, whereas the hard disk has the slowest reading and writing speed in the system of about 100MB per second. However, a RAM is many times more expensive than a typical hard drive. Therefore, in the system, the RAM acts as a cache to the hard disk drive. A solid state drive is less expensive than a RAM, but more expensive than a hard disk. If we substitute the hard disk drive for solid state drive, the setup will be very expensive and inefficient. In order to ensure an optimum efficiency and affordable cost, solid state caching is used. A solid state drive has a reading and writing speed in between the RAM and the hard disk. Therefore, adding a solid state drive in between the RAM and the hard disk will boost the computer read and write speed performance drastically. In order to use solid state drive caching, we need to use a motherboard with Z87, Q87, H87, Z77, Q77 or H77 chipset. First, you'll need to open the program of Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Under the Acceleration, under the Accelerate tab, click Enable Acceleration. Select Full Capacity. There are two options available in the Acceleration mode, mainly the Enhance mode and the Maximize mode. Enhance mode is used when the data loss becomes important. Maximize mode can drastically improve computer performance, but when there is a power failure, data will be lost. For my case, I use a maximize mode to boost the computer performance. So now my solid state drive caching has been set up. My computer is running on RAID 1 with solid state caching to boost the system performance. After setting up the solid state drive caching of 64GB, we still have about 48GB of space left. This 48GB of space can be used for virtual memory to further boost the computer performance. First, we will go to the control panel, administrative to computer management, storage, disk management, and under the disk management, there is a disk partition for solid state drive. That is not, is, I have already partitioned this drive, so if you want to do it, you just click, right click and click add new partition. After you add the new partitions, it will be shown in my computer E drive or whatever drive you name it as. And now we want to use this solid state drive uh, to use it as a virtual memory. First step, we will need to go to the control panel, click the system, advanced system setting. Under the advanced step performance here, click the setting, click advanced, 
and at the virtual memory, click the chain button. We want to set the C drive to no paging file and then set the E drive to custom size of between 11811 to 15360. 11811 is the inertia size and the maximum size is 15360. Of course, you can set the amount you want, but I highly recommend you to use the recommended paging size here that Microsoft recommend. Click OK button, close every program and pages and restart your computer. A 120 gigabyte solid state drive costs about $145. Although it is expensive, it is worth overall because if one day we can save 10 minutes due to fast computer performance, we can save 60 hours in one year. Since the cost of wasting time is more expensive, it is overall worth to use solid state drive for caching. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.